We're back in class A because my friends are noobs. Um, they're not the right level for class S. Um, they have class A though, so they're, they're kind of noobs, but not 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 that newbie. Noob, that's the noob right there. Skill shop. We're going to be going through and showing off all of these skills. I don't like this layout. It looks like really messy. Where do I start? For people who don't know as well, you don't have to equip skills. Once you've unlocked them, you've got them. Eight series, it's not in the game. Please stop promoting it. I'm not joking, guys. These are all messed up. I'm not going to have to rearrange it in editing. Uh, Bro. Wow. Thank you. I'm eating. God. You hold space bar. Oh, by the way, uh, on mobile, there'll be like buttons on the, is it right or left? Yeah. That regens stamina and uh, stops people from hitting you, but they can grab you. Jab, click. Jab, 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 Uppercut, E. Big strength. Front kick. When you want to do this move, you want to walk up to someone, press R and it kicks them. Make sure they don't catch you though. If they're standing by a wall and you kick them into it, they get stunned and they can't do anything for a few seconds unless they use a glitch to get out. And then you can do like an uppercut or something whilst they're in that stun. Overhand. This is the this is the move that does the most damage, but it's so easy to defend against. You can just walk out of the way and the cooldown like bro. Like they can literally walk out of the way and then use a spammer on you to defend against it. You're very likely to fail it unless you're fighting noobs. But if you hit it, <laughs> you're doing a lot of damage. I did so much damage then. Spammer. Spammer! You press X and then boom. You do like loads of punches at once. And if the other person does the spammer as well, you go into a clash. Come on, Patrick, go into a clash with me. Bro, no. Bro! Why is it not? Finally. And then you go into a clash, the person who gets the most green, green ones wins. Actually, no, it's the person who clicks the most wins. Yeah. And if you go over to red, you, uh, yeah, fails. Catch! Unless someone's shielding, you can walk up to them. Control. There we go, you can grab them and shove them on the floor. Or, if they're going to kick you into the wall, you can grab their kick. Like that. And then you can throw them. Oh, they're dead. Ah, Patrick died. Ha ha. Double kick. And you go up to someone. Okay, you just did it there. And you want to press F. By the way, remember, on mobile, the buttons are on the side. F. It does two kicks. Each kick isn't as strong as the normal front kick but it is still pretty strong. And the cooldowns are pretty short afterwards. It used to be really OP where it had like no cooldown and it was like really OP, like doing like over 10 damage per kick. Like 20 damage, 20 damage, 20 damage, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, they nerfed it a lot. <laughs> Bro, do you mind? <laughs> you having fun now? <laughs> 360 spin kick. It's where you do F and then R. This is a combo, you do F like this and then you press R straight afterwards. Play it safe, you can press F and then R straight away and just keep spamming R until you do a spin kick. This does a lot of damage. There we go, look at that. And it stuns them if they fall into the wall. And then you can do other moves. Haha. <laughs> Side dodge. You right click, or if you're mobile, there's arrows on the screen. And then you press A to go left or D to go right. So if I press right click and D, I side dodge right. If I press right click and A, I side dodge left. Side jab. Side jab is the exact same, but you jab at the end. So you click. You can side dodge to someone, side jab like this, and you can do some damage. And it does more damage than a normal punch. Yo, keep your chins on, Patrick. You can do two of these before it goes out. And you can use it to throw people as well and stun them. See, look, we're, we're fine. We're fine. The timer's... The timer doesn't scare me. Oh, that's hot! Finisher! Finisher, you need over half of your stamina. Once they're shielding, you can grab them. And it's the exact same as the grabbing, but you do double the amount of damage. String cross. String cross is the exact same as side jab, but then you press C straight afterwards. Like this, so you side jab, and then C. And this does a lot of damage. I'll show you right now. So you press one, only do one jab, and then you can press C and just string them. This is what pros use. If you become a pro at this, you win. I'm not joking, it's so OP. Remember, it's not two jabs. If you do two jabs and then C, you'll just take it into an overhand. You need to do one jab and then C to take it into a string. 360 uppercut. And the last move, the move that you get last in the game at level 45 is the 360 uppercut. This is a mix of the overhand and the uppercut. You press C, straight after you press C, you want to press E. If you're worried about the timing, as soon as you press C, spam E as fast as you can. It then does this weird motion. Whilst you're doing the weird motion, you can move anywhere you want. You can go, you can walk left, right, forward, backwards, and you have like a short amount of time where you're moving really fast. And if you bump into someone, you do a lot of damage. Like that, you can chase them down, you can be like, really, whoa, 
like that, it's amazing. And that is all the skills. Uh, okay, Patrick. Did you try to grab it? Ah, oh, no! <laughs> no, 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 I shouldn't be using that, I shouldn't be, shouldn't be glitchy. How did that work out for you? Bro. I'm be trying to do glitches though. <laughs> no sea surfing. No sea surfing. No sea surfing. You are young KO, what? What? Finish it off with a string. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.